Hi, I'm Natalie, River Catchment Officer at Essex Wildlife Trust, and I'm here on the River Stour on the border between Essex and Suffolk, and I'm going to see what insects I can find in and around the river. A familiar sight along the riverbank at this time of year are dragonflies and damselflies. Dragonflies and damselflies belong to the Odonata, meaning tooth jaw, and are thought to be some of the first flying insects found on Earth. Today there are around 5,500 species worldwide, with at least 50 found here in the UK. Brightly coloured with two pairs of wings and segmented bodies, you can spot adult dragonflies and damselflies on a warm summer's day close to fresh water, such as ponds, lakes and rivers. This is because dragonflies and damselflies, like a lot of other insect groups, begin or spend a large portion of their lives underwater. As well as dragonflies and damselflies, mayflies, stoneflies and caddisflies spend their entire larval stage in the water, which can take from as little as a few weeks to several years to complete, before emerging as adults to mate and lay their eggs. Mayflies and caddisflies can emerge in their hundreds, providing a spectacular display and a feast for fish and other wildlife. Not only do these river flies and other invertebrates provide a vital food source, but they can also tell us about the health of our rivers, and are used to monitor water quality. Declines in riverfly populations reflect declines in water quality, acting as biological indicators and alerting us to changes in the river's health. We're losing our freshwater habitats at an alarming rate, but we can all take action to help our freshwater wildlife even from home. Building a pond, even a mini one, is one of the best things you can do for wildlife in your garden and will provide habitat for a wide range of wildlife, including things like dragonflies and damselflies.